asked recently how much I'm spending on my recipes and so I thought I would share exactly that in today's what I eat in a day. I painstakingly calculated the price for each ingredient using the only bit of maths that I remember from school and that is uh, doing the percentages. So I want to say I'm pretty confident in that the, the prices are accurate. Every meal in this video is going to be under two euros, which I think is pretty good. And they're of course super easy and tasty and yummy and, and all that. This has been my go-to morning tea. So it's rooibos with a splash of oat milk and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Also, I try my best to remember to take my vitamins in the morning. I like a mixture of vitamin B12, omega-3, and vitamin D. Then I made this insanely cozy apple and berry breakfast crumble. It's super easy. Cut a small apple into chunks. Transfer those to a small saucepan. Add the juice of half a lemon. Watch out for potential lemon seeds. Add some frozen berries, some cinnamon, some sweetener of choice, and a bit of cornstarch. Mix well, and then bring this up to medium-high heat. Add a splash of water, cover, and allow it to simmer for about three minutes, mixing frequently. In the meantime, inside a separate small skillet, you're gonna add all the dry ingredients. That's oats, salt, optionally some vanilla protein powder if you happen to have some of that, and cinnamon. Now bring up the heat to medium-high as well, and mix every 30 seconds or so, until the oats start to smell nice and toasty. Feel free to also add some nuts. After about 2-3 to three minutes of toasting the oats, you're gonna add a teaspoon of vegan butter and a little bit of oat milk or water to create these clusters. Let this mixture cook for another two to three minutes or until nicely golden brown. I also made some coffee here, accidentally creating some latte art for once. And then assemble. And then you can also, if you want, add some vegan yogurt or a plant milk of choice. I also finished this off with some cinnamon and agave syrup for some extra sweetness. Lunch was this really nice and quick wrap situation. To my small blender, I first added some baby spinach, some cilantro, which here all cilantro enemies can substitute basil or parsley instead. Also add some fresh lemon juice. Once again, be careful of the lemon seeds. Add some olive oil, some unsweetened vegan yogurt, salt, some additional spices if you want, plus a tiny bit of water. And then blend. After taste testing, I noticed that this was missing a bit of agave syrup to balance out all the lemon. And then I also added some more salt and spice. I warmed up a tortilla in the oven for just about two minutes. And in the meantime, I rinsed my chickpeas. And then I combined those with the green sauce. The chickpeas and sauce together on their own are already amazing. I would be more than happy to just eat that. But yeah, I ended up putting some of the chickpeas inside a wrap alongside some plain tofu, a bell pepper, some sesame seeds. It was a bit messy to eat, but really, really yummy at the same time. And then I also had some leftover sesame noodles uh, from the other day. The recipes in my previous video, if you're interested, link is down below. That day we had sun in Berlin for the first time in what felt like weeks. And so I had to take advantage of that, even though it felt like my face was freezing off. 
So after my little walk, I decided to do some recipe testing. This was a recipe for these tahini and chocolate chip oat cookies. And oh my god, if you are going to recreate anything from this video, let it be these cookies. They're not too sweet, super cozy, and really simple to make. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then to a large baking bowl, add the softened vegan butter plus the sugar. Using a hand mixer, you're gonna whip this up for about a minute to two or until this mixture is light and fluffy. Then add some vanilla and the tahini and mix again. Lastly, dump in all the dry ingredients, small cut quick cooking oats, flour, baking powder, cornstarch, and salt. Mix it up one more time and then finally chop up some dark chocolate or use chocolate chips if you have those on hand and fold them into the cookie dough. This dough in and of itself is amazing and it's very hard to stop eating it. But yeah, I used an ice cream scoop to transfer the dough onto the baking sheet. They are going to spread a little bit. I would definitely recommend you do two batches, allowing the other half to rest in the fridge for a while. Bake these for 12 to 16 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. They are going to be quite delicate once they're done baking, but just let them sit and cool down completely on the counter without touching them. So as these are cooling down, I'm just putting together my dinner. So this is a recipe that I've been meaning to try for a while now. I, I don't know how I came across it, but it's these quick Polish dumplings called lenive. Normally, they're made with cottage cheese and eggs. But I found this Polish food blog that created a vegan version, and so I will make sure to link that down below. To a small blender, I added some tofu. This is the brand of tofu that I used. Even though it says pressed on the packaging, it is a bit more on the softer side. I also then added some lemon juice. The upside to using this softer tofu is that it blends really easily. I transferred everything to a large deep dish plate and added all the dry ingredients. At this point, I had to add quite a bit more flour and starch in order to adjust my more watery soft tofu. But before I confuse you, make sure to read the recipe notes. I hope they're more clear than what I'm saying right now. But basically, you're done with this dough once it doesn't feel sticky anymore, but also not super dry. You want this to be really nice and soft and easy to work with. Shape the dough into a thick, around three centimeter wide snake. And then you're just gonna cut this into little dumpling pillows that are roughly two centimeters wide. Some salted water should be boiling at this point as well. Allow the dumplings to boil for around five minutes. You might have to do two batches and serve them with whatever you like. You can have them sweet or savory. I also had the remaining green chickpeas from lunch on the side. Right, it feels kind of fake still. We're in this like limbo stage. Exactly, that's very good. And technically, technically. February 10th. I wonder what. Oh, it's gonna be the year of the dragon. Wow. Yeah, it's like really good. This is some cherry juice mixed with water. I. I read somewhere that cherry juice supposedly helps you with falling asleep. And by I read somewhere, I mean I saw a TikTok about it. Um, and so it's probably not true. <laughs> However, it could be a good placebo. Now begins my favorite time of the day. And that is my iPad baby reading time. I love reading. I'm sure you guys know by now because I mention it in almost every video. <laughs> it's even gotten to a point where <laughs> I think it's actually unhealthy behavior. Anything in excess is probably not that good. It's just the more I enjoy a story, the less healthy I am about it. I have my little story here. As I'm reading, I have a tab open with Spotify. I go to the Deep Sleep Sounds podcast. I put on some sort of nature related soundscape. Sometimes these soundscapes are matched with 
a particular scene that I'm reading. Let's say we're near a seaside, then I go and put on ocean waves and a shallow rock pool, waves for deep sleep. And if I don't know what to put on, I go for a crackling campfire sound. But yeah, so I have the sounds going. And then I'm also on Pinterest. And if I ever need visual references of what's happening in the story, I go on there and then it's just like a whole movie going on in my brain and it's the best time. It is truly the best time. You don't understand how much I love this. Maybe you do now. Yeah, I can highly recommend. Isn't this the most 2012 YouTuber setup? Um, <laughs> click subscribe if you haven't already and maybe perhaps leave me with a thumbs up. Also, since I'm already promoting myself here, check out my cookbook if you haven't already. It's called All Day Vegan and it's available anywhere there's books. So online and in bookstores. And I'll see you soon. Bye.